Good evening, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome you all today in Bibliotheca Alexandrina on the occasion of the opening of the exhibition Tapuziris Magna Treasures. The exhibition is actually the fruit of the cooperation between Bibliotheca Alexandrina Antiquities Museum and the Dominican Egyptian mission at Tapuziris Magna. We start our evening today with the speeches for the organizing bodies representatives. So please join me in welcoming Dr. Al Hussein Abdel Basir. Excellencies, uh, esteemed uh, guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It's a great honor to welcome you all to today's event, the Tabusiris Magna Exhibition. We are privileged to be joined by a great group of individuals who had made remarkable contributions in their wonderful fields. We are especially honored to have with us today Mr. Ioannis Bergas, Council of Greece, Dr. Catherine Martinez, head of the Dominican Egyptian Tabu Series Magna Mission, uh, Mr. Mario Di Basquale, Honorary General Council of Italy, and Mr. Mohammed Hamed, Cultural Affairs Officer at the Consulate of Palestine, and Mr. Chen Hui from the Chinese Consulate, along with the esteemed delegation. On behalf of His Excellency Professor Ahmad Zaid, Director of Antiquities, uh, uh, Bibliotheca Alexandrina, and Dr. Mohammed Suleiman, Head of the Culture Outreach Secretary, it is a great pleasure to welcome you all to the opening of our exhibition, Tabuziris Magna Treasures. It is uh, truly an honor to gather this evening to explore the fascinating stories of our past through the remarkable artifacts on display. Archaeology is not merely the study of ancient objects. It is a journey into the lives of those who came before us. Each artifact represents a, a fragment of history, a tangible connection to the culture, traditions, and the human experiences that have shaped the world we live in today. This exhibition brings together a rich and diverse collection that showcases the cleverness, creativity, and resilience of past civilizations. From everyday tools to delicate works of art, each piece offers invaluable insights into the social, economic, and the spiritual lives of our ancestors. I would like to extend my heartfelt thanks to the dedicated archaeologists, researchers, sponsors who made this exhibition possible. Your steady commitment to uncovering and preserving our heritage is truly invaluable. As you explore the exhibition, I encourage you to reflect on the stories these are facts tell and how they evoke with our lives today. I would like to express a special thanks to Dr. Catherine Martinez Nizar and the her extraordinary team for their remarkable efforts in making this exhibition a great success. I also would like to thank the entire museum team, I mean the Antiquities Museum at the Library of Alexandria, whose dedication has made this exhibition exceptional. Additionally, I'm grateful to our colleagues at the BA and the Supreme Council of Antiquities in Cairo and Alexandria for their support all over the past months in bringing this exhibition to life. Finally, I would like to acknowledge the family of the late great Egyptian archaeologist, Mr. Atiyah Radwan, who dedicated his life to this significant site. I think as a, a very modest 
token of love and the gratitude to him, we dedicate this exhibition. Thank you for joining us in this celebration of history. Let us honor the richness of our shared past and reflect on the lessons it holds for the future. Please enjoy the exhibition. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Abdel Basir. Now I'm honored to introduce our next speaker, Dr. Kathleen Martinez Nazar. Dr. Martinez Nazar is a Dominican lawyer, archaeologist, and diplomat. She's best known for her work since 2005 in the search of the tomb of Cleopatra. And that was in the area of the Posiris Magna. She leads the Dominican Egyptian mission there at the Posiris Magna, and also is the minister counselor in charge of scientific affairs at the embassy of the Dominican Republic. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Dr. Martinez Nazar. Thank you so much for all of you attending to this exhibition today. For me, it's a great honor as an archeologist having display those objects that we have uncovered from Taposiris Magna. But also, it's a great honor for the Dominican Republic because this scientific project has been the first bilateral relation between our countries. We are at the legendary Library of Alexandria. During Hellenistic time, it was among one of the most important libraries in ancient world. But more than that, it was the largest dissemination of knowledge at that time. Today, 24 centuries later, we found ourselves in the reincarnated Alexandria, Biblioteca Alexandrina, which is this um, circular shape and this incredible structure that also has cat captivated the modern world. When we are standing in front of Taposiris Magna, which is the focus of our work, we don't see an important temple because you don't see in the walls, in the limestone walls of Taposiris Magna, those beautiful painting walls depicting the victories of the pharaohs and their achievement. What you see at Taposiris Magna is only these big pylons and these um, massive enclosure walls, but also a replica of the lighthouse of Alexandria. And when the visitors go there, they really cannot see today the importance of this religious and commercial complex that was one of the most important temples during the Ptolemies. Many archaeological um, projects have been excavated in Taposiris Magna. The first one was the, the team of archaeologists and scientists that accompanied Napoleon in the conquest of Egypt. After that, the most famous Egyptologist has been excavating Taposiris Magna. Evaristo Breccia, which was the director of the Greco Roman Museum. Aquila Adriani, also director of the Greco-Roman Museum. Peter Grossman, a very famous German archeologist. Professor Dr. Fauci El Fakarani, very famous among the archeologists all over Egypt. Americans, as Edward Oschenschlager, has excavated the temple. But archeology, span it again, it's a journey. And whatever they did as a scientific project has helped me to understand better the temple. Also, 
the temple of Taposiris Magna has been impacted by the Second World War. We have discovered more than 100 bombs that has been thrown in the temple. And we donated those bombs to Al Alamein Museum. The reconstruction after the post-war was more damaging for the temple because those rocky mountains were used as a quarry and big part of the blocks of the temple were removed to rebuild the modern Borgelara city. I want to dedicate today this exhibition to one of those archaeologists that work hand by hand with me, Atia Radwan, but also to those that work in the temple before, those important names that I just mentioned. Later, another ex excavations project have been taking place at Taposiris Magna. For example, the IFAO, the um, French Institute, has been working at Taposiris Magna and still working there. Another mission from Hungary also worked at Taposiris Magna. I'm talking about around 200 years of excavations in this area. But none of those missions were able to answer a question, who built this temple? Which year? Which, uh, what gods the temple was dedicated? In 2006, a team of Dr. Uh, was Dominican Egyptian team um, by, uh, put together by Dr. Sahi Hawass, myself, and Atia Radwan, discovered the foundation plagues, which is the most invaluable artifact that you can find because it contained who built the temple. And we can say for sure it was built by Ptolemy IV in 221 BC until 204 during the time of his reign and was dedicated to goddess Isis. Why this information is important? It's important because it has changed the history of Taposiris Magna, but also because it's well known a divine connection between Cleopatra and Isis, and that information could be the clue to place the tomb of Cleopatra in this forgotten temple, Taposiris Magna. Among the objects that we are displaying today, you will, we divided the exhibition in two parts, because this is an exhibition of objects of an ongoing excavation. And we divided in those objects that belong to the temple, where we are presenting all these texts that have changed history. The foundation plagues, the stone, the posterior magna stone is a sacerdotal decree, where it's implementing the, sta the divine status of the pharaoh, that has changed the history of the area. And also, we are displaying the objects that we discover in the necropolis. We have excavated 16 catacombs. And all the objects that we discover shows a luxurious uh, um, necropolis that is worth it to be excavated. I want to thank now all my team members. They are accompanying me. This, this project will not be possible without them. And I would like that all of you stand up now in recognition of your work, please. <laughs> I also want to recognize the guardians of the temple, the Bedouins that has been working with us and accompany us during this journey. Thank you. And I want to thank very much the director of the Antiquities Museum, Dr. Hussein, and all his team that has been very professional and make this great exhibition possible. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Dr. Martinez, for this enlightening speech. And now, the exhibition. Actually, the exhibition is merely the destination. What about the journey? It was indeed a long journey, which involves a very large team, an interdisciplinary team. We now invite you to see just glimpses of this journey.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, I call Dr. Martinez Nazar and Dr. Abdul Basir to exchange tokens of appreciation. Okay. Because it's digging there in the temple of Isis, we didn't find anything better than a small statue of, of Isis from the same time period to be given to Dr. Catherine Martinez Nazar for her dedicated work and uh, wonderful achievement at Abu Sir's Magna project. Thank you. Okay, this is why, please. Okay. Another statue could be Isis, could be Arsene Lee the second. So our sticking with Isis as a remarkable uh, figure of the same site and the archaeological Isis because we can see here. <laughs> when we started the project in 2005, is one archaeologist that really impacted me, Atiyah Radwan. He was loved by everyone, and he was a great director for the Egyptian team. And um, he dedicated his life to archaeology. And today, I want to honor him and dedicate this exhibition to him. طبعاً نحن سعداء جداً بوجود أسرة أستاذنا الفاضل الدكتور عطيه رضوان يعني هذا العالم الأسر الجليل بيننا وطبعاً خصصنا له عدد من الأنال دي سيرفيس في مجلس على أسار عندما كنت مديراً عام للنشر العلمي في مجلس على أسار وطبعاً بنشر في وجود السيدة الفاضلة زوجته والأسرة الكريمة وهذا يعني يعني نوع من أنواع التكريم قامت به الدكتورة كاسرين له تقديراً يعني لما قام به من جهود عظيمة في هذه الحفائر التي بدأت تعالي تفضل حضرتك بليز تعالي هنا طبعا احنا عاجزين عن الشكر لاستاذنا الفاضل الدكتور عطيه رضوان يعني احد يعني علماء الاثار البارزين في مصر وطبعا هو اثر في كاترين وكان يعني شريك معه هو دكتور زي حواس منذ بدات هذه الحفائر في عام 2005 في موقع ابو زيرس ماجنا الذي احيا هذا الموقع الاثري وامدنا باكتشافات اثريه عظيمه تعد يعني مكمله للدور الذي قام به الاسريين الاجانب بريتشا وكل الاسريين المصريين سواء جوسمان او دكتور فخراني طبعا سعداء جدا بوجود استاذنا الدكتور احمد عبد الفتاح والدكتور ابراهيم وكل الاساتذه الافاضل كل زملاء استاذتنا الدكتوره منى واستاذنا الدكتور حسين واستاذتنا الدكتوره وفاء عاجز طبعا عن شكر حضراتكم جميعا اليوم ده يعتبر يوم مهم جدا لانه يعتبر يوم الوفاء لهذا الاثري العظيم الدكتور عطيه رضوان ونتمنى من كل شبابنا الاسريين ان يحتذوا حزو بحيث ان هم يقوموا بهذا الدور العظيم اللي قام به في حفاظ الاسهار سواء في قطاع المتاحف او في المواقع الاسريه انا نفسي اشتغلت معاه في نبطه بلاي سنه 2000 ورحنا عندهم البيت بصراحه قعدنا ناكل تونه لمده شهرين لما طلع عنا 
فروحنا عند الحاجة ام محمد عملت لنا اكل يعني كنا فقدنا يعني العلاقه بيننا وبين الاكل يعني فكناش عارفين الاكل التاني ايه اللي هي الفراخ واللحمه والحاجات دي اوكي فكان شيء بديع جدا ان هم يصدفونا في بيتهم كان الاستاذ عطيه ساعتها مدير عام اسوان وكان معاه الاستاذ علي الاصفر بصراحه يعني واكرمونا يعني كرما ليس له مثيل الاستاذ عطيه استاذي وبلدياتي وطبعا كلنا يعني نذكره بكل خير ونتمنى لاسرته الكريمه يعني الصحه والسعاده والنجاح وطبعا يعني هو ذكراه تبقى خالده يعني في انفسنا نشكر دكتوره كاسم وي ثانك يو دكتور كاسم فور ذس وندرفول مومنت اند فور ذس ديديكيشن تو ذس جريت اركيولوجيست ثانك يو سو ماتش ثانك يو آه والان بنستمع لكلمه من زميلنا الفاضل وصديقنا العزيز مدير عام اثار الاسكندريه الاستاذ الدكتور محمد رافت عباس فليتفضل سيادته شكرا جزيلا يا دكتور محمد على تشريفك وشكرا لكل الزملاء وشكرا للاستاذ محمد وكل الزملاء في منطقه اثار الاسكندريه وفي المجلس على اثار دكتور محمد اسماعيل وابي كده دكتور مصطفى وزيري وكل الاساتذه الافاضل اللي ساهموا معانا في نجاح هذا المعرض طبعا بنشكر الدكتور زي حواس على اهتمامه الكبير وكلمته اللي عملها في الكتالوج اللي احنا عملناه أشكركم تفضل دكتور عباس تفضل Good evening ladies and gentlemen Actually I'm so happy and proud to be with you all of you today um, First of all I would like to thank I would like to express my gratitude and appreciation to all my kind colleagues in the Supreme Council of Antiquities and the staff and members of the Dominican Mission in Tabuziris Magna and also to our kind colleagues here in uh, the Museum of Archaeology here in Biblioteca Alexandrina. Today I can say that we have a dream which became true. Yes, that's really. Indeed, today we are celebrating Tabuziris Magna to be one of the most wonderful, uh, important and significant sites in all of the Mediterranean pattern. Today we have a unique site which including all of the most wonderful historical and archaeological aspects of the Egyptian, Hellenistic, Greek-Roman cultures. Um, I can say that in the recent years, there is a lot of um, uh, research papers and also there is a lot of masters and PhD dissertations which are dealing so much with the archaeology and cultural material of Tabuziris Magna. So, all of this was never done without your unique efforts. So, um, if you please, I would like also to clap, we, we all of us to clap for these great efforts of our kind colleagues. Um, I will not uh, speak uh, now about uh, the archaeology or history of Tabuziris Magna because all of our kind colleagues, I think, that have explained everything. But I will just say a very minor story, which um, may indicate what about the legacy of Tabuziris Magna in um, the mind of the new generations of Egypt. Um, I think one or more than one year ago, I saw my uh, young daughter uh, was reading in the famous book of uh, La Description de l'Egypte, or The Description of Egypt. And she asked me that, uh, look at these wonderful drawings in this temple. Oh, yes, what about it? She, she told me, we have a very unique drawings for an, an architecture and a temple. They said that it is belonging to Alexandria. Where is it, Dad? I told her, um, I think it is the site of Tabuziris Magna in, uh, um, it's so far, so far of home in the desert, not so far from Alexandria. So I, observed that she interested so much about everything. I observed that she started to follow the documentaries did by Dr. Kathleen Martinez in the different um, channels. After a few months, she told me, Doctor, um, Dad, you have um, a kind colleague. Uh, her name is uh, Kathleen Martinez. I told her, yes, I have a colleague. Uh, her name is Dr. Kathleen Martinez, but she is working so far from me, <laughs> not together. She told me she's still searching for the tomb of Cleopatra and Mark Antony. So did she find what she is uh, searching? I told her, mm, not yet, but I'm sure that one day she will make her dream true. So this story, 
I think that the new generations of Egypt, our young children, became now so interested so much with your efforts, with the results of um, the excavations of Stabuziris Magda. And I think that the coming days will hold a lot of wonderful imaginations for all of us. Uh, thank you very much for your attention, and I'm wishing you all the best for a best future in your uh, archaeological project. Thank you, Oliver. Well, I guess we are all eager to go and see the exhibition. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you very much for your attendance. And we will, we will now move to the museum, the Antiquities Museum, for the opening of the exhibition, Treasures of Tapuzaris Magna. Thank you. Thank you.